ball game in that second half. He started the game. He hit his first couple shots. He thought, okay, player of the year is going to dominate this first half. And then he went cold, hitting just one of his next eight shots. But the second half, something coach or whatever teammates, they, they got together. JBJ became more aggressive, driving the ball to the basket, coming off of pick and roll situations, knocking down shots, and it became infectious for the rest of the ball club. Larry Spalding, Kelly Pfeffer, and Marcus Hicks. You saw how the game officials were underway in Phoenix. Blackshear moves right, cuts in. Wide open lane, and it quickly two points on the board. Oh, that was just way too easy for Nuna. He just got the ball on the right side of the floor, drove straight to the basket. No help from any of the hot players after that pit, uh, roll situation. Brings it over to Ocampo. Campo, far side, eyed by Harrison. Heels out. Cuts in front. Up over the top. Shoot. Woodland Hills, California, attempting the three. That's way off the mark. Havoc's going to let him hear about it. Blackshear again weaving his way around. He'll kick it out to Harrison. Plays catch with Gabe McLaughlin. Attempts the three-point shot. Rings around and out. That ball was two-thirds of the way down in the basket and somehow spun back up and out of the basket. Pressure. pressure by Blackshear Jr. 35 feet from the basket on the ball handle. Jew from the key. Good. Yeah, Jew's got a pretty stroke. You see why he knocked in 28 points in his last basketball game. His ability to be able to stop and pop off the dribble. Blackshear. Hesitation. Lost the ball. Turnover number one for the Lopes. Siano. He's picked away. McLaughlin gets it up. Harrison. Swings over to Bauman in the corner. Quick three attempt. Off the rim. Pulled down by Kniss. Well, I, I, you know, this is a team. They'll be able to get any shot they want to on the floor tonight. Barry, I like the low being more aggressive like Blackshear Jr. was in that first one. Drops the ball through the basket. Ooh, Harrison almost picked it off. Blackshear. All over Chu. Bounce pass quickly inside. Nice passing here by the Hawks. One on the shot clock. Oh. I don't think he got it off. Nope. Yes. 30, 30, uh, see the 30 second violation uh, and another turnover. So already you see the Hawks maybe a little rowed, uh, wild by this big GCU Havocs crowd as they've turned the basketball over three times with the early going. Boxer brings it up. Moves right, near side, McLaughlin, back out, to Drago, to Bauman, looked inside, Harrison, Stetter, driving, McLaughlin, big right hand in there. That's what I'm talking about, he'll give you the outside shot, they don't want to deal with the Lopes' height and speed going to the basket. Blacks are harassing. Dashiell, wants some help. Motions. Ocampo picks it up. Swings it over to Chu. Chu to the right side. Cutting in. From the wing. Good. Ooh. Yeah, that little miscommunication between Harrison and Blackshear that time. And she was able to get a free look to, from the uh, left side, right side of the floor. McLaughlin puts it on the floor. Lost the handle. Goes out. Knocked out by the Hawks. Yeah, the Hawks can score. Uh, they average 77 points uh, on the season, on the early part of this season. So... You know, the Lopes want to get into a shooting match with the Hawks. It'll be, in, uh, it'll be a long night for them. But if they continue to do that pressure defense and, and keep them out of that painted area, no free looks, this will be a long night for the Hawks. Bauman, big floater, nothing but net. Yeah, you can see this kid has settled down. He was nervous in the exhibition game and nervous in the first half of the opener against Montana State. Now he's playing with a lot more confidence. Body language and his energy on the floor is much better. Bellamy in the game. Near side, Ocampo. Rebound, pulled down by the Hawks. Yeah, you're not expecting a whole lot of offensive rebound out of the guys in the blue shirts, but good job crashing the glass. Yamu with the bucket. Blackshirt. 
Try to slice and dice him. Oh, it's picked off. Devon with a couple of miscues here early on. Maybe a little over penetration. Campo with the rebound pulled down by McLaughlin. Leaves for Javon. Quickly to Bauman. Bauman. Whoop. Back to Blackshiro. Open. Look for three. Bam! So I like that. Give the ball up. Push it down the floor. And then fall right into your trail three-point shot. Bellamy. Looking inside. Pushes back out. Two. Moves right. Inside the arc. Oh, he's fouled by Rodriguez. Three-point lead by Lopes early on here in Phoenix. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Did I tell you I bought our car from Carvana? Yeah, ma. It was so easy. I found the perfect car. Under budget, too. And I get seven days to love it or my money back. I love it! I thought online meant no one to help me. But Susan from Carvana had all the answer. She didn't try to upsell me. Not once. Because they're not salespeople. <laughs> what do you guess who just checked in on me? Mom. Susan from Carvana. <laughs> we'll drive you happy at Carvana. You done yet? It's 2 a.m. Why are you still scrolling through videos? You're not paying me overtime here. If you really want to see something new, why not change those shades that have been broken for the past two years? Let's tap the Thumbtack app, and in a matter of seconds, we'll find a pro to install new shades. Okay. With Thumbtack. Two minutes into this game, and the Lopes off to the 9-6 lead over San Diego Christian right now. And uh, we've known that this crowd here gets a lot of notoriety throughout the nation. It's been called the biggest party in college basketball. They've been called notoriously rowdy. And after Monday night's season opener, they got high praise from Montana State head coach Danny Sprinkle, who said, I was telling my guys to enjoy it. This is college basketball at its best. It was awesome. Credit to their students. This place is awesome. If I could play every game on the road here, I would. I'll tell you what, cue that for a commercial about what it's like to play basketball at GCU. We always talk, guys, about how the crowd here has that six-man effect on the Havocs. We've seen that happen. We've seen that energy transfer over to the court. But it's also something to be said for the opponent already in November feeling that madness that usually comes in March. No, no, no. If you have the Havocs in the house, you feel that energy from game one. It really was, Kate, and it was madness on Monday in the second half. I believe the Havocs played a large part in that 19-point, erasing that 19-point deficit and the Lopes coming back and getting that victory. Post-game comments from head coach Danny Sprinkle in it after a tough, tough loss for his squad. But he appreciates the atmosphere and what college basketball should be all about. Oh, I thought that was a nice yeah. move by A.O., but they got him with an extra step on the travel. But good to see that young man chewing glass early in his basketball game. Early on, Blackshaw with five points, two of two from the field. Chu for the Hawks, six points, two of three from the field. Two leaders right now early on here in Phoenix. Ocampo doesn't drop for him. Bauman tried to get a hand on it, pushed out. I guess it's going to be off Bauman. I thought it was off yeah. Bellamy. I thought he was the one that poked it out of Bauman's hands, but got to secure that basketball, giving these Hawks an extra opportunity on the offensive end here. Stuart Jenkins in for San Diego Christian. Turnaround there for Siamu. Not happening. David Lawson working the glass. He always does a good job. Good, good when he gets his hands on the ball in the offense. There's been five rebounds on Monday night. Chance McMillan in the game. He's at the key. Cuts back out. Blackshirt. Back to Chance. Puts it on the floor. Back beyond the 
the arc. Bounce pass. Blackshear. Ten on a shot clock. Back to Gabe. Gabe's going to attempt three. Heavy on it. Rebound pulled down by the Hawks. Quickly Ocampo. One and five from beyond the arc. Bellamy back to Ocampo for three. That's heavy. Whoa. Going up and getting after it with Stuart Jenkins. Back to Ocampo. Temecula, California native. Down low, back to Ocampo. He cuts in, finds a little seam. Left hand doesn't go in a nice move. Bauman, he looks for three. Goodness. <laughs> yeah, they mentioned it, Barry. Again, like I said earlier in the ball game, you don't want to shoot outside shots against this team. You're up by double digits, yeah. But if, until then, punish them down low. Lopes, three of three when they take the ball to the basket, just one of six from behind the arc. With Drago, finds McLaughlin. Put it home. Got a case in point. But he didn't get any shot they want within eight feet of the basket. I mean, just keep banging them inside. Build that lead. In the second half, you want to start working on your three-point stroke. Shoot them in the second half. Eight to two. But uh, takes an point advantage to the Lopes. Whoa. Miscommunication there. I think one player thought he was setting a high pick, and then he was trying to hit him with the ball. But look at this one more time. Nice little interior passing there by uh, Drago to McLaughlin. And... He just bites it in up off the glass above the defenders. McLaughlin, Blackshear, Bauman out. The Gahan, Baker. Landers in. Harrison as well. McMillan. Baker. Baker looks right, finds Harrison. Baker's one of those guys going to look slash to the basket. Ooh. I think that was the Har Harrison right there going hard to the hole. And sometimes when you're just aggressive and start banging into bodies, the referees will give you the benefit of the whistle, and Harrison's going to go to the line. Excellent free throw shooter. Harrison goes to the line. See his numbers from Monday night. He was an eight. <laughs> Real battle. Good battle from Montana State. And those guys were going after one another. And three of nine shooting wasn't excellent, but the defense he did in the second half and slowing battle down was a big part of why the Lopes had success. Two for two for Ray Harrison. Under 13 to go, opening half. Two. Shut down there by Baker. This is back out Blackman. Ryan Blackman in the game for the Hawks. Back over to Chu. Baker's on him, trying to get a little room there. Chu, up and under. <laughs> How about that one by Chu? Looked like he was stoned. Lopes had played great defense on him, made him pick up his dribble. He had to shoot kind of a two-hand push, falling away. <laughs> he gets nothing. He knocks it in clean. Sometimes scores just know how to score. Has he got eight in this game already? Indeed. Front rim to Gahan. He's fouled underneath. That's yeah, just too big, too strong. <laughs> Gahan moves like half of the weight room when he walks in. <laughs> There's nobody in one of those blue shorts that can keep him from getting on that offensive glass. It's going to be space line out of bounds. I wonder if they'll run that same play they ran where uh, Blackshear Jr. hit the three with under 30 seconds to play yesterday. Baker. I like him this. Too heavy. Big rebound, though. Picked up by McMillan. Quickest chance to fill it to the basketball here. Cover 20 feet to go get that offensive rebound. Yeah. Gahan down low. Big right hand. Doesn't go. Lander tried to put it. It looked back. like that ball squirted out of Gahan's hands as he went into his uh, shooting motion with the little hook. And he had to like double tap and push it too far off the back rim. Ocampo moves left. Looking to drive. Dishes back out. And Walt Ellis gathers it in at the player bench. Timeout on the floor, three-point lead early on.
Why is Roger happy? It's the little things Carvana does. See, Roger wants to sell his car, stat. Little things like getting a real offer in two minutes really make Roger happy. So does Carvana's customer advocate, Caitlin, picking up his car at promptly 10 a.m. Hi, are you Roger? Berglund, with the Honda Accord? Yes, I am. It's right over there. Will I be getting... And he loves that Caitlin pays him on the spot. Yep, Rog, it's the little things that drive you happy. We'll drive you happy at Carvana. From Holiday Hills, Illinois, to Rudolph, Wisconsin, from Santa Claus, Indiana, to Snowflake, Arizona, from Garland, Texas, to North Pole, New York, and everywhere in between. We're holiday ready with fast and reliable delivery serving every address in America. The United States Postal Service. Did you know you can save with GoodRx, even if you have insurance? You know, I thought my prescription was covered until it wasn't, but GoodRx helps with that. I work for myself, so I buy my own insurance, and I still check GoodRx. I'm on Medicare. I check GoodRx because it can beat my copay. And CCAA championships in 90, 97, 98, and 2004. San Diego's a nice place. Oh, San Diego's fantastic. Yeah. I grew up in Los Angeles area. Paris never took me down to San Diego. Oh, it took nice. me moving to Phoenix to really discover how nice San Diego is. Yeah, San Diego, and I bet they love all the Arizona <laughs> people going over there in the summer. They just yeah. invade their town. Yeah. <laughs> There's a spot down there, not too fast, far from the Hotel Dell, where you can get one of the best lobster rolls in the country. Woo. That's so good. There's probably the thing of lobsters yeah. with a lobster in the crowd down there. Lobsters. He's got a lobster with a GCU jersey on it. Yeah. Pretty much all of Phoenix invades uh, Coronado. And... Back underway. Three-point Lopes lead. They're just one of eight from beyond the arc. Not hitting on all cylinders here in the opening half. Baker weaving around, dishes to Landers on a nice pass over to McMillan. He'll cut in. Underneath the Gahan. Oh, he wanted to put it home, but it's stoned by the Hawk. Ocampo brings it up. Just his back out near side. Long shot attempt there by Stuart Jenkins off the mark. Baker is fouled. Yeah. Rebound. I tell you what, nice rebound by Baker going back. But how about that block there? You don't see too many guys go up and challenge the Irish Hulk and come away with a victory. That was a good uh, meet you at the 10th floor moment. Two again. Harrison moves left. Looks right for Landers. Transfer from Kansas State. Baker from UNLV. McMillan. Step back, three. Uh, just the second three for the low. When he first did that little James Harden side shuffle to the behind the three-point line, I said, oh, no, what are we doing? We're having so much success inside, but McMillan, he shows a, an ability to be able to knock down shots when a team is struggling. True, trying to free himself up. Bounce pass, takes it in return, and Chu tried to put it home, and looks like he got a hoop and a arm. Oh, my gosh. I like this kid, Chu. Yeah. He can block the Hulk at one end and comes back in and finishes with a yeah, power layup, we'll call it, uh, at the other. As it was dunk wasn't, didn't go down clean, but he handles that contact. Now he's got an opportunity to go get a and one from the free throw line, and Chu got a, a 10 working on 11 points. Four or five from the field. Good-looking player right there. Coach Drew working the bench. Got Kobe Knox out there. Isaiah Shaw. Walter Ellis. Kobe with a big block. Early on, second half on Monday. Isaiah with a big three. You know, and I like this. Because those guys, they sparked the team yesterday. They came in, they played hard. And uh, now... Coach comes back and says, all right, earn some minutes in the first half of this basketball game. Shaw, McMillan, up high, moves right. Jayon kind of frees him up a little bit. Oh, look at Chance McMillan stopping and pop. Chance McMillan has added that, Barry, that ability to shoot the mid-range jump shot. A lot of coaches say that's not a good shot. I say if you can make 60-65% of it, it's certainly a good shot. 
takedown defense out of shock. Chris Paul likes those mid-range jumpers. He certainly does. Deuce is a deuce. Shoot, cheap. Wow, a little help from the glass. No glass, no squeegees, Mr. Chu. I'll tell you what, look at that by Walter Ellis running that loose ball down. Kobe for three. Whoa! Timeout. The hungry oh. guys off the bench with the D in the bucket. Shaw loves it. Knox loves it. The bench love it. This is a close knit basketball squad. Eight point lead opened up for GCU. I love that because he did his he did his work early. He got down there deep in the corner, got his feet and shoulders squared to the basket. McMillan delivers a strike and knocks without any hesitation. Knocks it down. Hey, for every three-point shot that GCU makes, Copper State Credit Union is going to be making a donation to the Students Inspiring Student Scholarship. For more information, please go to giving.gcu.edu. Very good tell, Scott Williams, Kay Longworth, back at GCU Arena in Phoenix, where the Lopes bench opening up an 8-0 to zero margin. Again, they're providing a big spark like they did uh, in the second half on Monday night. Yeah, those kids like to party, I tell you what. And they brought it in the second half. The Lopes were, were left for dig at, in first half like roadkill. And I think it was the, these doctors maybe pumping some light back into this Lopes basketball team in the second half. And instead of giving up 50% shooting from the field, they came back with 22% uh, shooting for the Bobcats and the Lopes shot almost 60% in that second half. There's your lobster. Oh, there was a lobster shot? Yep. Got to love lobster. Oh, yeah. You ever go to that uh, restaurant down there near near Old Town off of Camelback, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, ocean uh, seafood joint? They have uh, some good lobster rolls as well. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I was about to give the name up. Maybe Stop I can't it. do that. Back underway, Blackman doesn't drop. Ellis leaves for McMillan. How about Ellis though? I mean, again, coming in, being an extra rebound. Look you, look you. Didn't go for McMillan. Approaching the nine minute mark. Blackman trying to move on McMillan. He allows him to move it to the near side. First on Walter Ellis. Pops Lafonso was here on Monday night. Ocampo. Oh, did they just foul him on the three? Oh, that's the cardinal oh, sin right one. there. Never foul an outside shooter. Certainly not a three-point shooter. The coach drew doesn't like that one. He said, hey, I put you in there to foul a three-point shooter. You're the son of a coach. you got to know better than that. A little bit of leg kick there might be what they get, coat, uh, excuse me, get the Isaiah for. I love it. Dad and uncle both uh, reach for the bottle of water for the uh, unpleasant swig. Think Isaiah would be glad he didn't have to ride home with dad like he probably had to on some of those wreck games. Oh, <laughs> I boy, couldn't I think I'm going back to the fun. dorm. Yeah. <laughs> Always wondered about that. Sure, he was real proud of his son the way he came in there. A big moment. I asked him before the ball game. I said, "It did." Uh, I didn't say your uncle, but I said, "Coach, let you know you were going to go in there in that second half." He said, "He sure did." He said, "Are you going to be ready?" And I said, "I absolutely will be ready." And the kid was. He knocked out a big three-point shot. I was happy for him. Ellis inside a gay high. Work it. Right hand. Got him on the wrist. Yeah, he did. Nice job by Gahan. Big hop into a left shoulder turn, right hand jump up. Why don't they just pound the high low game? Pound it down low. You've been hearing me say it, Barry. I got to go down there with a note and say pound it down low. Yeah, but I mean, the guys are making an occasional shot, but they're having much greater success when they take it down in that painted area. I, I get it. They're going to win this basketball game, right? So, but win it the right way. 
You know, respect the game, go down low, punch him in the mouth down low, rebound the basketball, get in transition, get some layups, some easy buckets in transition. And then in the second half when you've got a 10, 12, 15-point lead, then you maybe start looking for your outside game some. by the Hawks. Oh, mercy. Careful. Gay on out. We draw go back in. Yeah, you see? checked in as well. Sorry, Barry. You see some plays that are early season basketball plays. Not on both yeah. sides. You know, the, the, I think sometimes the Hawks are thinking for their teammates and I think GCU sometimes tries to be a little unselfish and making the extra pass and, and turns it over. Big bucket there by Javon Blockshire Jr. Luna, I'll tell you what, that's what that's one thing that he's always been able to do since his freshman year when he was freshman player of the year, that little mid-range game. He's always had that. That's seven points on three of three shooting. Stuart Jenkins back over to Ocampo, looking right. Chu comes out, receives the pass. No one's on him. Chu hustling his way. Javon got a hand in there. And again, lucky souvenir. Front row there. Get some back. Poor girl there. It looks like she's a little frightened. A little shocked there. Didn't know she'd be called into action here. Receiving the passes from the Hawks down low. The bench 9 0 margin for GCU here early on, but still uh, kind of sputtering. We're not hitting on all cylinders here yet. No, but it's early in the basketball season, so you can't expect it to be mid season form just yet. I think the momentum that they had from the first game, they were so excited to come out here. Uh, maybe they didn't right have the right minds and a little too giddy off that last game. But as you mentioned, guys coming off the bench doing a nice job. Yeah, and he is able to kind of rotate a number of players here early on in this uh, opening half. It, and it's good to have a, a game scheduled like this because it does make a lot of good chemistry for some of these guys that once the rotation gets a little bit shorter, they've really they got their, moment, their uh, minutes and they feel like they're part of something. Javon Blackshear, Jr., and also Gabe McLaughlin had Great, great games in the second half on Monday night. They're looking pretty sharp here early on. Yeah, that one was the first play of the game. It was just too easy. You figure, okay, we're going to get a lot of those. Uh, and then they kind of went away from it, start going to the jump shot. Blackshear Jr. is able to knock down a couple three-point shots. And here's the guy that I that I really like uh, in the GCU uniform. He just plays so hard, so aggressive. He's got to wear his little hard hat, lunch pail, does all the little dirty work, gets on the offensive glass, plays a, a generally one of the strongest uh, interior scores on the other team. Four points and four rebounds already for Big Mac. Yeah, those two players excelled in that second half. Javon and Gabe McLaughlin. What a second half it was against Montana State. You look at the numbers. 41 to 18. 59% shooting. 22. It was complete flip the switch from the opening half with a lope shot 25%. Rebounding margin a plus 10 and a plus 18 points in the paint. That was also a flip of the script there from the opening half. That, that's the one that I kind of point to, Barry, that said that was the biggest thing because it set a tone for how they were going to be more aggressive. They were getting outscored 20 to 0 in the first half points Ooh. in the paint, and then they came back and turned it around the margin in which you just delivered it. It set a new mindset for the team. They ended up getting 21 more points than they had in that first half and did a great job shutting down the, uh, the attack from Montana State. Well, four of their last five from the field. They can add to it here. This Lock should be it. lunch. Oh, to work on two. We lost the handle. It's going to be Hawks ball. Goodness gracious. Not four turnovers. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that expression was on Coach Drew's face there. I mean, it wasn't uh, pleasant. No, it, I don't think he's too happy, but he's not overly disgusted either. <laughs> From beyond the arc, and good for so Jonah was, Felix. Wow, Felix and, and Chu got good-looking shots. See why this team has won the NCAA tournament a few times now. They got to recruit some players. Boys from Cypress, California. 
Stuart Jenkins picks up his first. We're looking at a six-year head coach, Dwayne Cosby. Stuart Jenkins checks out. Bauman inbounds. To McMillan. Moves left. Got some room. Left hand. That's stopped there by Chu. Oh. Chu. Got up and went after it. Campo, his three doesn't work. Nice move by McMillan to get it into Ivan Udrago. Isn't he so athletic? Ah. He's just so quick to the basketball. Like I say it probably two or three times a game. Look at that pass. Ivan uses the window. I'll tell you what, spoon feed the big man down low. McMillan's having himself one heck of a first half of playoff or of action here in this game. Dashel. Okay, okay. Almost lost that dribble. Stackhouse. He did, I think he did the stackhouse, Barry. Mm -hmm. Stepped on that uh, sideline out of bounds behind the three. Trying to kickstart himself to the basket. But look at this one more time. That's, McMillan got, grabs that ball. He rushes it down the other end. And then just a little bit of motion. Oh, Dra uh, Drago right down that right on that right block. Eight Lopes have scored so far in this opening half. Blackshirt over to Harrison in the game. Kobe Dobbs, you know, he had a big defensive play in the second half of that game to ignite the team. Then he comes out tonight, early in the first half, and gets his first career field goal. Swing, swing, doesn't go. Rodrago with a rebound. It's going to be fouled. Well, if I'm Casey Shaw right now, who's the big man coach, I'd be happy with the way my bigs are playing. McLaughlin, Rodrago, um, Aiden. He, they're all down there just getting on that offensive glass and playing big and strong around the bucket. Drago at the line. Speaking of strong, he's a little strong with that first free throw there. Just soften up that, that shot here. The second one to fall. Right there. there you go. Sometimes that first one's just a range finder. Is that what that was? That's what I used to tell myself when I was shooting, when I was shooting 60 percent from the line. Dashel brings it back out. He gathers it in. I'm not sure that was a kind of a Pat Mahomes attempt. Blackshirt off the glass is fouled. That's the one I think JBJ knows I'm going to take some punishment by going to the hole, but I'm going to throw it as high as I can up off the glass and see if I get lucky and if it falls in. But worst case scenario is I'll go to the line and I'll shoot my two free throws and, make it, and get two points that way. Four from the line. It's going to be a hard habit for me to break. You know, Paul Coro did that nice feature with yeah. Javon Blackshirt Jr. And he mentioned what he liked, that I like to call him JBJ. And he said, what would he like to be called? And he has decided that his nickname for the rest of the season and the rest of his career, GCU, is going to be Nuna. Yeah. So, so I don't know where that came from. Maybe I'll have to do a little bit more investigative reporting. But I will now start calling him Nuna for the rest of his, uh, his oh, career here at GCU. Man wants to call Noon, I'm gonna call him Noon. You know, I think that's a nickname. You know? Just... Well, I'm saying instead of JBJ. I'll call him okay. Blackshear yeah, 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 yeah. Jr., but instead of JBJ, I'll, I'll, I'll use Noon. Okay. Do this one more time. We saw that a uh, couple times from Montana State. When you're doing that dribble handoff, after you hand that basketball off, you can't wipe out the defender. That's a moving string. Oh, oh, oh Harrison. Harrison showing some athleticism. I thought he was going to punch that with the right hand, but he got he went deep into his bag of tricks. Spun it off to the left, off the glass with the left hand. A Campo eyed by Ray. 7-0 run for Globes right now. Two. Leaves it for Bellamy. Back over to Ocampo. 
Lopes tightened up the defense. Not not free willing Hawks offense like we saw in the first ten minutes of this game. Five on the shot clock. Loose ball underneath Bellamy. Look what he found with a nice left hand reverse. Oh, I tell you what, the Hawks play great defense for over 25 seconds, and then just a loose ball, <laughs> and they pick it up and get a lay-in. After uh, suffering a 7-0 run, they needed a basket. Lacky Jr. over to Harrison. Drives. No look pass. Drago doesn't go, but a foul's called. Yeah, he got slapped on that right oh, forearm, oh, but I don't think there's Jonah anything Jonah. there that Y.O. When he goes and watches this film, that he thinks I could have gone up with a little bit more power and taken that contact and still finished it. A little slap of the hand makes me think I'm right about that. I'll go back to the line. There. Now that he's had the range, that's, right. Easy, that's yeah. right, right. He's made his last two since that yeah. uh, first missed cue. Yeah. Let's see if he goes three for three on this one. I wonder sometimes these lopes and uh, the Havocs, rather, they get so quiet when the players are at the free throw line that oh. it doesn't throw them off something. Oh, Ran back to his average. Might have to calibrate the uh, range. To Campo, up to Bosch. Bellamy. Also there by Felix. Felix is a cat quick. A cartoon cat named Felix. And Felix the fast guy. Bounce pass too heavy. Out of bounds. Timeout on the floor. 3.53 to go. Looks up 32 21. We're Carvana, the company who invented car vending machines and buying a car 100% online. Now we've created a brand new way for you to sell your car. Whether it's a year old or a few years old, we want to buy your car. So go to Carvana, enter your license plate, answer a few questions, and our techno wizardry calculates your car's value and gives you a real offer in seconds. When you're ready, we'll come to you, pay you on the spot, and pick up your car. That's it. So ditch the old way of selling your car and say hello to the new way at Carvana. Can a handyman fix my leaky faucet? How much does it cost to have my HVAC checked? How do I know I have a missing radiator? What do I have Home questions don't have to keep you up at night. Get peace of mind with Thumbtack. We'll connect you with local pros for any home project, from a small fix to a big remodel. See transparent prices, read verified reviews, and book with just a tap. Thumbtack, the easy way to care for your home. Do you want to know what I've been binge watching? Udemy courses. They have thousands of courses that help me advance my career from anywhere, especially with this little one. I need to get in as much learning as I can. For both of us. At the break, I'll check in with head coach Bryce Drew to get his thoughts on this opening half. Going a little bit better than on Monday. We'll see what he's like so far from his team. Plus, we're going to check in with our Lopes insider, Paul Coro, who goes one on one with YO to get the inside scoop on his life and when he started a basketball career in France and where it's taken him in the Lopes uniform. That's all coming up in our Lopes Halftime Show. We look forward to that coming up. 3.53 and counting on the clock. Yeah, I want to hear from Y.O. Yeah. You ever been to France, Barry? Paris or anything? Oh, no, we did. We elected not to go there when we went to London. Ah. I've been there, the Eiffel Tower, so that would be hope. That's what I understand. City of Romance. I'm, 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 I'm romantic, buddy. I never I, told you that. Oh, no, I, you don't have to tell me. Just you lose his off me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to basketball. Nice turnover by the Lopes, dude. Picking it up defensively. This is why I want to see if they get, you know, get some work in their transition game. Locks for three. Put back by McLaughlin. Oh, 
too wide. Could have been McLaughlin. Bauman was down there as well. I like that one there. McMillan's doing a good job finding his shooters out on the perimeter. Bosch moves right. Campbell ends up with it. Tight D there by Ray Harrison. Step back. A short. Bouncing ball. McLaughlin picks up a rebound. McLaughlin's good on that glass. Six rebounds for McLaughlin now. McMillan for three. Three's on. It's seven rebounds for McLaughlin. How about that? That might be the easiest offensive board to put back he has all season long. Left shoulder turn to a right hand hook. Eight and seven for McLaughlin. Bosh. From the key. Doesn't go for Siamu. McMillan brings it up. From the paint. Off the window and in. Yeah, they're starting to go inside now. Nice. Goes 75 feet down the left side of the floor for an easy layup. 14 to 2 run now. Lopes taking the momentum with him into the locker room. Yeah, open up a 19 point lead now. Bellamy. Marion picked off by chance. McMillan. Oh. Slick. Yeah, Ted McMillan went down kind of awkwardly, a little slow to get back into the defensive end of the court. But now another rebound. It's at nine rebounds. Make it nine rebounds for McLaughlin. Action. Move back. Underhand. In off the window. I don't know if the Hawks have run out of gas or they're just trying to get through these next 90 seconds so they can get a blow, but they're getting beat on both ends of the floor right now. A lot of guys pulling up the short shorts. Charge on Bosch. That's what I talk about McLaughlin. So he'll get you the offensive board. He'll play the good defense, the block shots, and he's not afraid to give up his body and takes a charge on a player driving from the outside. But look at Javon Blackshear. He just goes right by Felix. So you know how fast Felix is. And Blackshear just goes beat, beat, puts on the Jets, goes by him. 126 on the clock. Blackshear brings it up. Bauman, Bauman swings it over to Harrison. Back to Blackshear Jr. He moves right. Knocked out. Lopes retained possession after it was knocked out by Sage Siamu. Inbound by McMillan to Javon. 12 on the shot clock. Back to McLaughlin for three. Go! Now that's a big shot right there for McLaughlin. He worked on those three-point shots. He shot 500 threes a day in the course of the summer. And he has a chance to pick and pop and get his feet set from behind the arc. And I think he will hit a 35 to 45, 40% clip. We saw this one against the Montana State. They just roll him right into that uh, high pick and pop. The defender thinks he's going to roll to the basket. He pops out there from behind the arc, 20 feet, and knocks it down. Davis had a new career high for rebounds in the first half with nine. And his previous was eight versus Seattle University in the 2021 WAC tournament. Yeah, he's going to get himself a double-double tonight, no doubt. He's already got the points, now 11, 11 points, and another turnover by Camp Campbell. Bauman in in front of the Habits. He's looking to take that final shot of the half. Now they cut Harrison off McLaughlin left to right. Then McLaughlin sets a pick for Blackshear with him dribble drive to his to his left. If they don't hit Harrison off the cut, they try to find one of the shooters in the corner. Blackshear, Harrison, open look for three. Shot. And that's oh, the halftime the, score. They stopped the game clock. Prior to the, after the shot clock, they stopped the game clock. There was actually a half a tenth of a second uh, or half a second left. There was a little clock malfunction there. You can see the clock still shows that there's three tenths of a second. That's the end of the first half. <laughs> okay, well, now they blow it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Not too much can be accomplished in 0.3 seconds anyway. 19-2 run to end the half. Lopes in control.
as many had anticipated coming in against San Diego Christian tonight. Started a little bit slow, but obviously on that 19-2 run, they're finishing the opening half pretty strong. Yeah, they had forced 12 turnovers in that first half. Let's send it down to Kate Longworth. All right, thank you guys. Well, Coach, uh, the last game in that season opener was a tale of two halves. But in this game, you guys have come out firing on all cylinders. What's impressed you so far? Uh, the last five minutes uh, were much better. Uh, we made some shots. We moved the ball. Um, our ball pressure was not good the first 10 minutes. It got better as the half went on. You guys are really using your size out there, able to out rebound the opponent, and Gabe really stepping up, leading on that. What's been the difference maker you've seen from him out there? Uh, this is what you said. You know, Gabe got about three straight defensive rebounds, allowed us to get out in transition, thought Chance played really well. Um, you know, Javon's uh, really been great on both sides of, of the court today, um, really set a great tone for our team. All right, thank you so much, Coach. The Lopes shooting over 50% so far in this game. Right now, the score at the break. GCU 43 over San Diego Christian 21. We'll be back with the Lopes halftime show right after this quick break. Why is Roger happy? That's the little things Carvana does. See, Roger wants to sell his car, stat. Little things like getting a real offer in two minutes really make Roger happy. So does Carvana's customer advocate, Caitlin, picking up his car at promptly 10 a.m. Hi, are you Roger? Berglund, with the Honda Accord? Yes, I am. It's right over there. Will I be getting... And he loves that Caitlin pays him on the spot. Yep, Rog, it's the little things that drive you happy. We'll drive you happy at Carvana. You done yet? It's 2 a.m. Why are you still scrolling through videos? You're not paying me overtime here. If you really want to see something new, why not change those shades that have been broken for the past two years? Let's tap the Thumbtack app, and in a matter of seconds, we'll find a pro to install new shades. Okay. With Thumbtack, you can easily find top-rated professionals for every home project. Thumbtack, the easy way to care for your home. Udemy. 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 No matter how you say it, it's a top online learning destination with thousands of courses. Around the world, we're helping people achieve their goals. I learned Python and became a software engineer. Udemy can help you start a new career. Or just learn something new. Whatever you want to learn, discover the perfect course for your goal. Udemy. 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 What have you always wanted to learn? Did you know GoodRx can help you get a better price on your family's prescriptions? I just open the app, type in the name of our meds, that's it. Save us on my asthma medication. All right, round two, baby, round two. Oh. Oh. Four GCU has made a great impact so far. He hailed from France. He transferred to GCU last year after a couple seasons at Nebraska. And the big man made a big impact last year, leading in rebounds. That's, of course, been the story so far in tonight's action. And our Lopes insider, Paul Coro, had a chance to catch up with Y.O., who told him that this year he expects even more from himself. So you're going to want to know how to say his name correctly, because I guarantee you'll be cheering for him a lot. First off, say your name the right way for Lope Nation. In French? Yeah. Okay, in French, it's Yvon Rodrigo, but in English, it would be Ivan Rodrigo. Or Y.O. Oh, why Oh, why you? Why is easy too? Yeah. So you were born in Bordeaux, France, and yes. you've been involved in the national team programs there. Yes, how, how great is it to have both worlds, France and America? Man, it's amazing. Uh, first of all, it's two different games. It, it was a blessing to be able to uh, be part of the national team. I was captain the, those last two years. Played with a great, a lot of great players. Uh, it was amazing, and here too, like having found a new family at GCU last year. I got uh, amazing teammates, and I like everybody here. So, yeah, it's, a ble it's definitely a blessing to know both worlds, yeah. So you also spent part of your childhood in Burkina Faso and West Africa. That's actually where you discovered basketball. Yes, sir. Uh, what was it like growing up there? Man, it was tough. At first, I came there, didn't have much money. Uh, it, was, it was such a chance going from France to Africa. But 
I'm definitely grateful that I had that because I know where I'm from. I grew up and it make me it make me be balanced in knowing both worlds, knowing that in certain certain parts of the world people don't have as much chance as I as I have and as I did growing up and it's definitely pushing me every day to to go hard, yeah. And then when you went back to France as a youngster, you got a great opportunity to be in the National Sports Academy there. And your mentor was a people, Phoenix basketball fans know. Yes, sir. Boris Diaw. Yes, sir. How, how was he for you? Man, well, I came, I came back at 12 years old. Uh, nothing was planned. I went to Boris Diaw camp just for the summer. And there I met Vincent, Vincent Bassey. That was uh, Boris' first coach. And he just kind of took me under his wing. And just growing up, watching Boris and other French stars was definitely amazing because I seen that people did it before me. So why, why not me? And then you developed into this player who's now one of the best offensive rebounders in the nation, top That's 20 right. last year. What, what is it about your knack for that? I just think it's a, a natural gift, I say. Like, I never really worked on it, but it just, it just happened, I guess. Just know how to position yourself with the ball. What has that been like here for you to come out of that tunnel every game and see that atmosphere in GCU Arena? Man, it's definitely a blessing. Like, like I'm saying, people don't really know. Like, when you play here, you take that for granted, but it's really not like that everywhere. And even this summer when I played for, for my national team, I mean, I was happy to play for my national team, but it wasn't that crowd, and you can definitely feel <laughs> it when you get used to that. So it's amazing. I love the Havocs and everything. You guys have had good success here, but you hear probably some of these other guys talking about the 2021 WAC Championship, going to the NCAA dance and all that. Yes, How much are you driven to be part of that this year? Man, it's definitely a fuel, man. Like every day waking up, we want to make history here. People, they did in 2021, and we're just trying to do the same or even best this year. If you need a taste of home, where do you go in Phoenix? I did find a bakery, but I, I forgot the name of it. I like, I like Caminary. It's a perky place. I like Pita Jungle, uh, Fresh Frisian, and Panera. That's, that's probably the spots I go to the most. There you go, Wyo's Picks. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I hope you're hungry for more basketball because not only do we have Pepe entertaining things here at GCU Arena at the break, but it's Barry and Scott's turn to entertain you with first half stats. Right now, the Lopes on top of San Diego Christian, 43-21. We'll be right back. My name's Amy, and I bought and financed my car through Carvana. Everything was all good, but then things hit a slight snag. Okay, so they were trying to verify my employment status while I was at work in a giant hole in a mine. But then something amazing happened. Hello. Carvana worked with my shift manager and got everything sorted out. So I didn't miss out on the car. Super helpful. I was over the moon, <laughs> even though I was underground. We'll drive you happy at Carvana. You done yet? It's 2 a.m. Why are you still scrolling through videos? You're not paying me overtime here. If you really want to see something new, why not change those shades that have been broken for the past two years? Let's tap the Thumbtack app, and in a matter of seconds, we'll find a pro to install new shades. Okay. With Thumbtack, you can easily find top-rated professionals for every home project. Thumbtack, the easy way to care for your home. Do you want to know what I've been binge-watching? Udemy courses. They have thousands of courses that help me advance my career from anywhere, especially with this little one. I need to get in as much learning as I can for both of us. Did you know that people everywhere are recommending GoodRx? My doctor told me about GoodRx to help us save money on our meds. And my daughter told me about it. I take a lot of prescriptions. GoodRx helps me keep up. My neighbor showed me the app. It helped me save on my kids' allergy pills. Americans everywhere are sharing the savings. I'm dropping off a prescription. Great. Another good reason to check GoodRx. Bryce Young and Big Al's epic arm wrestling match continues. 
Think you can take down a Heisman quarterback? You know, sometimes you just gotta <laughs> it keep is? it simple. You got an advantage in speed and size over your opponent. You use that advantage. I love that one by McLaughlin right there. Explosion at the basket. And then he gets Bauman going there with the little floater, knocks one down. McMillan was a good, did a good job spoon feeding the bigs underneath, but when you're just too quick, you just go ahead and you just put on the Jets and you take it through the hole. 20 to 6 advantage points in the paint for the Lopes in that first half. Dignity of Health brings us our first half stats. 43-21 is the score, shooting 52% from the field of the Lopes. Yeah, Cole from behind the arc when they figured it out, their bread was buttered in that paint. That's what they took advantage. But I love that we had nine different guys score in that game, 11 points off the bench, seven assists, and a much better job this first half. McLaughlin a rebound away from his 10th career double-double for GCU. And there this we is have what it. I'm talking about. Yeah, hey, Pay. Incredible. Look at that. Get it in there. Yeah. She did it again. Bam. We'll be back. And uh, the Lopes already shooting 50%. We'll see how they can do it in the second half. We'll be right back to find out. Why is Roger happy? It's the little things Carvana does. See, Roger wants to sell his car, stat. Little things like getting a real offer in two minutes really make Roger happy. So does Carvana's customer advocate, Caitlin, picking up his car at promptly 10 a.m. Hi, are you Roger? Burglar with the Honda Accord? Yes, I am. It's right over there. Will I be getting... And he loves that Caitlin pays him on the spot. Yep, Rog, it's the little things that drive you happy. We'll drive you happy at Carvana. You done yet? It's 2 a.m. Why are you still scrolling through videos? You're not paying me overtime here. If you really want to see something new, why not change those shades that have been broken for the past two years? Let's tap the Thumbtack app, and in a matter of seconds, we'll find a pro to install new shades. Okay. With Thumbtack, you can easily find top-rated professionals for every home project. Thumbtack, the easy way to care for your home. Udemy. 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 No matter how you say it, it's a top online learning destination with thousands of courses. Udemy can help you start a new career. Or just learn something new. What have you always wanted to learn? Let's explore your future with Udemy. Programming websites, designing logos, presenting your ideas. Learn the skills you need from thousands of online courses. Udemy. If a medicine is expensive, 
patients aren't going to buy it. If it's not affordable, it's staying at the pharmacy. Brought to you in part by Mesquite Fresh Treat Max. Mmm. Getting hungry. Folks went on a 19-2 run to close out the opening half. Yeah, that's the way you take the momentum to the locker room. And you know, kind of like Coach Drew said there, his halftime interview with Kate, uh, they did it with defense. You know, rebounding, getting out in transition, running, getting up some open looks before the Hawks had a chance to get their defense set and made the game real easy for them. Havocs enjoyed that half a lot more uh, than they did the first half <laughs> of Monday's game. They were not rocking and rolling <laughs> at the halftime like they are dancing in the aisles tonight. Yeah, the uh, ropes had shot right around uh, 27% of the uh, San Diego Christian shot in this opening half, unfortunately. Yeah, it looked like the Hawks ran out of gas. Uh, and Chu and Felix were a step slow. Uh, the latter part of that half and the Lopes took advantage of maybe it's conditioning and uh, maybe they're just beating uh, out class but Lopes really are going to try to bury him here in the first 10 minutes of this second half. Finesse with a arching three attempt. Blackshire Jr. brings it up. Swings it over to McLaughlin. He'll throw up a three. Front rim rebound. Gahan. Naughty Gahan. With Drago. Put back off the window. Yeah, just flexing down there. You know, Yo just doing what Yo does, and you know, a heavy dose of offensive rebounds and easy putbacks. Oh, pushed out. It would go off the Hawks. Both yeah. Bauman and <laughs> both, were they there. both wanted to pad the rebound stats there. That neither one of them ended up coming with it. But look at that one right there. You do your work early. You get right in front of that rim. You know that long shot is going to produce a, a big bounce. And you have a good opportunity to get it if you're already in position. Quick three attempt. Front rim. Rebound with Drago. Trying to attempt by Felix. Blackshirt Jr. He'll try for three. Front rim for him. Bauman got the rebound. Leads for Harrison. He'll cut in. Finds its way over with Drago. With I'm going to give him an assist on that, Barry. I okay, think he sure. went up, uh -huh. came down with it, and slipped it over to Y.O. You're trying to say that was a missed shot. I'm thinking that was a smart play. I'm with you. All right. Campo over Siano. Gass leaves it for Campo. For a step back. Good. Oh, somebody lost a shoe. Is that Blackshirt Jr.? Not <laughs> We saw that in the first game with the guy coming out of a, uh, out of his shoe. But look at this one more time. Yeah, well, that's a, certainly a pass there. Okay. Have okay. they given him assist on the official stat sheet yet? He does have one assist, but I wasn't sure if he had one in the first half. Harrison brings it up. Early on, second half. Going to move base. For the charge. Savio Campo. Second First team foul on the second half. Let's see here. Yeah, you know, Harrison did that. I think Battle got it. Forced a charge on Harrison when he tried to drive uh, at a game in the game against Montana State. So he's got something he's got to be careful of. The body contact underneath. And uh, San Diego Christian to the free throw line here. Let's say this is a clean block up top, but just too much underneath there from Y.O. Yep, Lugago call to the free throw line for Bosch. San Diego native. Donovan Bosch. Like his hair's in his eyes. He keeps he keeps flipping that hair back. I'm a little jealous of that nice mop he's got on the top of his head. It's one of two. Ooh. 
Basha is putting on some pressure and he's called for the foul. Call call the Hawks number 22. Hawks are determined to not go quietly in the night. I think his coach realized, the coach realized that they weren't putting enough pressure defensively on the Lopes in that, in that first half, and the message has been sent to get out there and pressure the ball handlers and start playing a little better defense. It's already drawn a charge, and you can see there's full, full court pressure. Oh, look at the move by Gabe McLaughlin, waving Chew in his wake. Oh, that was an excellent spin move, and then the explosion at the end to finish that off the elevation, the power slam. Hoffman's got 13. He's already got his average. He only played two minutes in the first half. Gosh. Hoffman shut him down. Ocampo, hide by Harrison. Trying to find some room. Ocampo. Left hand. The Drago got a hand on the buzzer. Chu uh, uh, thought he had that. Blackshirt Jr. just going away. Bauman for three off the mark. Bausch with the rebound. Up for Felix. Over to Acampo. Out of Bosch. Boston's in his face. Beyond the key and a good bucket there. Sage Siamu. Yeah, that was a nice shot right there. Really got on balance. Sometimes it's hard to catch that ball if you're back to the basket and then turn around, get back on rhythm and balance and find a, a clean stroke, but he executed flawlessly and knocked that one down. Blackshirt Jr. cuts in underhand off of the glass. Now, I don't know what they can do to stop Nuna from getting to that bucket because he is just putting his head down and going right by everybody in a pair of blue shorts. New side to Ocampo. Bosch. Chew for three. Ugh. That's the chew we saw in the first half. Yeah, you got to find that dude. That dude's a natural born scorer. Third, make that 14 points on five of eight shooting. He's got three threes in the game. Sorry, they got two threes. Harrison. Out underneath. Okay. Go back to this one more time. Just sized him up. Just that little look over the left shoulder, knowing all along he's I'm spinning back off of that pivot foot and going to the bucket off of my right shoulder. And there was nothing the defender could do about it when he puts his desire into that play, in which he showed that power. Number three, Knox comes in for Bauman. Gashel back in for the Hawks. There's Ball, Harrison. Chu. Chu's momentum knocks him out of bounds. <laughs> they were going about 85 miles per hour between Harrison and Chu, trying to run that down. The coach by a little bit, too. He thought maybe Harrison added a little bit to him falling out of bounds. But see how fast we're running for that ball. He just cannot stop on a dime. And like you said, Barry, his momentum carried him past the uh, out-of-bounds line. Kobe knocks back in here early in the uh, second half. I like that. See how Isaiah Shaw sighted here. He already knocked. He knocked down his first field goal to GCU uniform uh, in that first half. Let's see him get a second one here in the second half. Roxy Jr. inside. Foul away from the ball. Timeout on the floor. 52 29. Lopes in control over the Hawks. A good crew knows conditions can change, especially in life. <gasps> it's a boy! That's why the crew at Carvana gives you seven days to make sure your car fits your needs. Triplets. This calls for third row seating. Finding the right car can smash your budget. But the crew at Carvana makes it easier to shop with thousands of cars at the right price. So breaking in the new ride won't break the bank. Looks like this little thing gets to see another day. So he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know GoodRx can help you get a better price on your family's prescriptions? 
I just open the app, type in the name of our meds. That's it. Stay on my asthma medication. All right, round two, baby, round two. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> savings on my husband's blood pressure refills. And savings on my daughter's allergy pills. Prescription savings for the whole family. Have a good one. Another good reason to check GoodRx. You done yet? It's 2 a.m. Why are you still scrolling through videos? You're not paying me overtime here. If you really want to see something new, why not change those shades that have been broken for the past two years? Let's tap the Thumbtack app, and in a matter of seconds, we'll find a pro to install new shades. Okay. With Thumbtack, you can easily find top-rated professionals for every home project. Thumbtack. Jerry Colangelo Museum in the front of the practice facility here, right near the main entrance of Grand Canyon University. Oh, in there. It's like a board of that sign. Hall of Fame in there. Hall of Fame. Arm Stills name on there. Tom Chambers. Oh, did, no one you, ever asked me to sign, sign it. Oh, you didn't sign it? I, I, I started, got a I started to invite myself to sign it. Yeah. But I didn't. Yeah, security by now. We should sign it, though. Practice. I come from my sneak out the lobby. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Kobe Knox remains on the floor. Inbound to McLaughlin. Over to Lackshire Jr. Freed up some space. Hips the three. Good. Now with the game high 16 points on two of four behind the arc. Indeed there by Javon almost freed up the ball, picked up by Ocampo, by by McMillan. Look how far out these GCU defenders are extending their defense. Siamu, turnaround, in and out. McLaughlin, there you go, his 10th career double-double at four a season ago. Front rim. Blackshear Jr. Uh -huh. Yeah, he took out Ocampo trying to run down that loose ball. Yeah, sometimes when you see McMillan and Blackshear, those guys know, like, okay, we're, get, we're closing in on a 30 point margin. Um, I wonder if we're going to get pulled out of here. So maybe I'm going to go ahead and, and fire a quick one up, thinking I may not see the court once I come off it for the remainder of the game. So I've got to go ahead and keep that average around 18 for Blackshear. And then, uh, you know, McMillan trying to pad to his points that he's he's had tonight. He's, he's sitting on seven. He probably want to try to get himself in double figures before his night is over as well. Smiles all around here. John Blackshear Jr. in the Lopes. Ocampo at the line. Laser. Came in three for three. At the free throw line. Very smooth stroke. Josh Ocampo. Immaculate. One punch. California wine country down there in South Carolina. You know that bear? The Meculans? Yeah. Some good wines out there. Good vineyards. Yeah. See the little nuggets you, you learn here by tuning in? Well, you oh, can... Baker! Wow, nice shot by Baker. It's a thing of beauty right there. Just off that left wing from behind the arc. Yeah, you forget I grew up in Southern California. I, I, I didn't. I, I used forget. to ditch school and go to the beach. Well, Huntington Beach, Balboa. apparently. Go back to this one by Baker. I love this right here. This is a little penetration by McMillan. And he, when he delivers the ball, he knows where his shooters like it. We saw Knox knock down a three in that first half from on a pass from McMillan off the break. And that time Baker gets himself one off the bench. And he knocks one down as well. Inbound, quick three, in and out. Campo, pulled down by Gahan. Leaves for Baker. Baker brings it up. 
High school grab. Turnover. Ocampo. Oh! Stopped by Kobe Knox. Kobe Knox has got some pogo sticks for legs. Throwing a big block in the second half yesterday and a huge block there in the second half tonight. What oh, I got Egagon for charging. Maybe swinging those elbows a little violently, which I don't mind to say, but just one more time. I don't even know where Kelby, Kobe Knox comes from. I think it comes down from the rafters to swat that one away. His big brother up in, up in New York taught him that one playing for the Knicks. Landers checks in for GCU for McLaughlin. Approaching the 14-minute mark, remaining in the second half. Lachman, Stewart Jenkins. Working on McMillan, freed himself up, but doesn't hit it. McMillan ends up with it. Up to a Gahan. He can't gather it in. Knocked out by the Hawks. Old Los Angeles Raider Lester Hayes that used to have oh, to stick them all yeah. over his, you know, hands yeah. and his, and his uh, forearms all the way up to his shoulder Gahan blade. Needs that? Well, he's dropped a couple tonight, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna label the guy with two games to play, but he's definitely gonna have to work on squeezing that ball. Uh, he's, he had himself an easy two point had he caught that one cleanly. Anders. back to McMillan. Stuart Jenkins cuts into the paint. Big right hand. Good. McMillan's just a player. Yeah. I'm not quite sure who he reminds me of in the pros, but he's got a nice nice rhythm and bounce to his game. Got good court vision, ball handling skills, and a clean shot. Nine points, three assists. Closing in on double-figure score. Felix almost lost it. Kobe Knox. I think Kobe Knox forced him into forced Felix into calling a timeout. He had him trapped in the coffin corner between the half court line to sideline, and then Knox smothered him chest to chest. Kobe Knox looking sharp. Let's send it down to Kate Longworth. The day it was on Monday for the WAC with all teams in action, and uh, they fared fairly well. The teams went five and eight overall at opening night, and of course there was that comeback we saw from the Lopes right here at GCU Arena when they beat Montana State in dramatic fashion in that second half. But how about Sam Houston? The Bearcats beat Oklahoma on the road, 52-51. Last minute finish, very exciting there. Meanwhile, Seattle U preseason all whack first team Tyson scored 35 in their win over UCSD. We've talked year after year how the WAC just continues to get stronger and stronger. A couple new additions, and this conference they make it fun out there, uh, going out there, kind of getting some notoriety from national teams as they play in these non-conference games. And then we, of course, know it gets very exciting in here with those. Whack matchups start to line up for GCU um, in this competitive conference. And it'll be interesting because GCU, in years past, a few years back, they were the team, you know, kind of flying under the radar. Not anymore. In the coaches' poll, media polls, the Lopes are, of course, picked to win the conference this year. They are the favorites. So uh, they've got a target on their back, and we'll see how they handle that. And then also looking just here at the WAC teams, you'll see what the competition looks like as we head into late December, early January play, and all leading up to that big tournament in March. And of course, all eyes will continue to be on that, what we call is a rivalry, guys, between GCU and New Mexico State. We've had a lot of fun matchups between those two teams. So we'll see um, how that goes in New Mexico State's final year here in the conference. Yep, UT Arlington and Southern Utah, the new additions. Yeah, Southern Utah's the team I really want yeah. to put my eyeballs. 43 and 16 the last two years, an average net of 143. Sam Houston with a big win over Oklahoma at Oklahoma. 
Tarleton gave ASU a little bit of trouble for the Sun Devils one by three. Yeah, you think Coach Hurley was sweating out the three out? Yeah. <laughs> A little more rougher than he wanted on his uh, the season opener, I'm sure. Bob's hot, hot shooting of the opening half continues. 64% shooting while the Hawks 27%. 29% lead. Harrison back to Landers. To Kobe Knox. To Baker. No look over to Landers. I was out here a couple hours before the game, and Landers and Isaiah Shaw were the only two players down here on that end of the floor just working on their offensive game. So good to see Landers find the bucket on that floor that he had spent so much time on prior look to the it. game. Look at Kobe Knox! Babail! Are you kidding me? This kid's got some live legs. This is a steal and rose up for the slam down. Minutes. He's definitely impressing that staff, and I love the fact that you know you got McMillan and McLaughlin and Bowman, uh, Wyo all up off the bench cheering on his, their teammates. Who doesn't see the court all so often. So, bucking the first half, his first of the game, he got a nice little taste of that. And decides I want to have some more of that. That's fun. Chew at the line. And the ball game from Hawks, number 10, Donovan Bosch. For the Lopes, 55. Jehan checks out. Walter Ellis, Walter Ellis in. Yes, yeah, so LGC obviously playing a little smaller now as they go to the end of the bench. Probably the last three, Gayon and Dragu. And you know McLaughlin's done. He registered his double-double. So you have guys like Ellis and Knox and Baker. You got to leave one starter out there to kind of keep things going. And I think with Harrison having... I don't want to say struggled, but been a little off at times in his first two games. That's the guy that uh, Coach Drew says, let's leave him out there for his leadership. Harrison over to Baker in the corner for three. I got Landers pushing out, uh, pushing off underneath there, trying to get on that offensive glass. Landers did look sharp, though. Nice bucket underneath the basket. Lopes in control. Big time. Why is Roger happy? That's the little things Carvana does. See, Roger wants to sell his car, stat. Little things like getting a real offer in two minutes really make Roger happy. So does Carvana's customer advocate, Caitlin, picking up his car at promptly 10 a.m. Hi, are you Roger? Berglund, with the Honda Accord? Yes, I am. It's right over there. Will I be getting... And he loves that Caitlin pays him on the spot. Yep, Rog, it's the little things that drive you happy. We'll drive you happy at Carvana. Can a handyman fix my leaky faucet? How much does it cost to have my HVAC checked? How do I know I is have a mold? Why do I have a Home questions don't have to keep you up at night. Get peace of mind with Thumbtack. We'll connect you with local pros for any home project, from a small fix to a big remodel. See transparent prices, read verified reviews, and book with just a tap. Thumbtack, the easy way to care for your home. Udemy. 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 No matter how... I love this one right here by McLaughlin because he does something that I could never do in a pair of basketball shorts. That quick spin move to the baseline for the jam. Double double for McLaughlin. He's hitting 13 points, 10 boards. And that's six of ten shooting. Defense rebounds, offensive rebounds. Took through a charge out there. Hey, you could like um, superimpose a hard hat on that kid. Tenth career double double for Gabe McLaughlin. Look at Isaiah Shaw there in that picture too with McLaughlin. He's made the most of his minutes. He's coming back out here to finish this one up. You want to say it's mop up time, but there's almost 12 minutes to play in this one, Barry. And 31 point GCU advantage. These hungry guys coming off the bench to keep their foot on the throttle, I'm sure. 
Shaw, Baker, Ellis, Landers, and Harrison on the floor for GCU. Greg Chu to the line. Sixteen points. Yeah, Chu got to a fast start, but he wasn't able to keep that same sort of momentum. He got real tired in that latter part of that second half, but he's starting to come back on now. He knocked down a couple shots and then gets himself to the line off to that off that uh, foul up on the other end. Perfect at the line tonight. Baker brings it up. Landers. Shaw. Near side. Back to Baker. Landers comes over. This is back out. Three. Good. Isaiah Shaw. Nice points to the passer. Nice job by Baker flipping that one back to direct from the direction in which he dribbled off away from. And that's where Shaw and Landers and those guys were working on their shots. Kness got the bounce. Robin Kness. Mannheim, Germany native. Robin Kness. Landers to Shaw. Baker. Step back. Three attempt. Morty. Baker says, I give it, and I take it. <laughs> Once with the pass, and then pulls up from behind the arc. You give me that much space, I'll shoot it in your eye. Most doing a much better job in the second half uh, from behind the arc. Got uh, four of eight shooting from behind the arc in the second half. Harrison underneath. Landers. Poop and a harm. Shooting's looking sharp here. Yes, bench guys coming in here and delivering, and I love this one by Harrison. He, he's got a layup here, and he says, let me give this one off here to Landers. We haven't seen the basket very often in the exhibition or Montana State, uh, and get him going. Is he somebody that will, will be able to help them when they start playing a little tougher competition that they got coming up? Pride of Cedarburg, Wisconsin, of which... Scott is well familiar with a number of their fine eateries. <laughs> Bakeries. <laughs> Old granddads. <laughs> you don't hesitate to mention the bakeries. Oh, gosh, I just had to snow blow my driveway. Uh, my number treat. of those glory days. You want to get coffee and a couple chocolate long johns from Old oh. Granddad Bakery afterwards. Freshly baked. Melanie to Ocampo. 29 bench points for GCU, 36, 8 points. Step back short. Ellis keeps it inbounds. The Baker. Walter Ellis get a lead from behind the arc. He's got a clean shot. 40% shooter over his career. Gonna swing over the opposite side now. Baker will drive. Take it in off the window. Now, well, just no help side defense. Eh? Seems like as the GCU players dribble that basketball from the top of the floor below the foul line, quite often they're able to get to the rack unimpeded. Shaw calls. Great shoot to shoot the one to one. Two back to the line. He's a perfect seven of seven. Game high, 18 points. Harrison, Shaw, to Landers. Quick three attempt. Front rim. First ball. Wow, that ball uh, 
certainly went off one of the Hawks players, but I think the officials are having a little uh, mercy for the yeah. Hawks and say, you, you guys take it. We don't have any video replays rest of the basketball game. Thank we we remember how many out. replays we had against Montana oh, State. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it was like two hours and 40 minutes long because of all of those replays. Coach Cosby doesn't want any replays. No, I, I think for Coach, he saw some good things out of his team in the first half. They got some obviously some holes in the game that they got to work on, but he wants to make sure his guys get through this one healthy. You go out there, get a sweat, get a chance to compete in this great college basketball atmosphere. But ultimately, I think being down now, 38 points, he want to make sure none of his guys get hurt. Dasho called and fouled Ellis, who went up for the rebound. Four rebounds. Five minutes plus of action. Harrison back out. Bauman three. That's a yeah, that's a tough one. Hey, Bauman was over there. He probably thought I would put some ice bags on my knees. I'm done for the night. Next thing you know, coach coach throws you back out there on the floor. Wow. Wow, number two. Yeah, and that's the tenth team foul. GCU is. Uh, out here hacking in the second half, we're going to send to the shoot to the line for two free throws. So he's looking for points 19 and 20. Remember, this guy is averaging 28 a game. Missed his last attempt. In the ballgame of the Hawks, he's a good He's a good player. No doubt about it. Felix has got some speed, and we got a couple other guys with Campo that gets out there defensively and sh can shoot the ball a little bit as well. And, and they're going to be, they'll be okay once they get to their their conference schedule. A little press by Dasha. Yeah, that's another player. Right? I don't want to leave anybody out, but they got a good looking squad. They're athletic, I, obviously conditioning. Tonight, the Lopes were able to run so many more players out there. They uh, got winded at times, but they got a good looking squad. Here's one for Isaiah Shaw. Shaw. Oh, his first miss of his career from beyond the arm. Two behind the back. Yama. Uh, he didn't get it cleanly. I don't know if he kind of messed up Chu's assist, but that was a sweet little behind the back pass by Chu. To, Siamu and he, he was able to throw that hook in. Man, that would have been a charge, but his feet were inside the restricted area. I like the way Isaiah Shaw drives that ball hard to the basket. Timeout on the floor with the Lopes in control. After they closed out the opening half on a 19-2 run, 7.51 on the clock. They lead it 75-41 to in this matchup after a, uh, wow, it was an emotional game against Montana State tail of two halves and they come back and beat the Bobcats taking on this NAIA opponent here tonight before traveling out on the road against the Nevada Wolfpack well, they did what they're supposed to do tonight hey, it was a little sloppy early on and I think they realized okay let's just go inside use our speed and our size and bust it out to a 22 point advantage at the half well, that uh, same sort of concept here in the second half. You can get a lot of guys out there an opportunity to play. And maybe your new guy, your Kobe Knox. I mean, he's got a little bit of everything going on here. Like this kid. Who knew? I, I see him a little bit in practice, and you see some flashes, but until you really get the sense of seeing when the uh, bullets are flying, the lights are bright, you don't really know. And I love that one there in transition. He did his work early, got his feet set, then that big block there to deny an easy two-point. Gets the steal, and look at that. Well, the Statue of Liberty dunk there with the high right hand throwing it down hard. The hammer. Well, for every three-point shot that GCU makes, Copper State Credit Union will be making a donation to the Students Inspiring Student Scholarship. For more information, please go to giving.gcu.edu. Five points, two of two from the field, a block and a steal.
Look at this. A little trampoline help. Yeah, yeah. Little oh assist there for the trampoline. You ever tried that before, Barry? No, that would be uh, that would might not end up well. I I, I did that one time. You did it's one it's, time. Yeah, it's not as easy on the knee as you might think it is. Right. You you got to learn. There's a little kind of a lost art to hitting that trampoline just right. Yeah, right in the middle, right? You yeah. Well, if you hit it if you hit it too high, then you don't really spring forward. You kind of have to get it right in the middle so it allows you to, you know, go forward to the basket, too. It's not just about height. It's about traveling forward with it. It's not as easy as it looks. I think that wasn't a bad first attempt from the, what do you call that crew? The Havoc ha Dunk Crew? Dunk Crew, yeah. I yeah. Think yeah. They, yeah. They'll, they'll work on their act a little bit yeah. over the holiday break. Fine tune it, you know. In between classes, of course. Toby Knox. Toby Knox doesn't need that trampoline, that's no. for sure. <laughs> He's got it already got the springs for legs. It's all over the stat sheet. Hockey would be like a Gordie Howe hat trick, a goal, an assist, and a fight. Hasn't gotten a fight. I wouldn't advise that. Inbound from Baker. Hey, wow. right on cue. After watching the timeout wow. act, they run a, the high handoff and an easy slam dunk there for the Irish Hulk. Bosh. Nice speed into Chew doesn't go. Chew got smacked upside the head. No whistle. I think the uh, officials may have put their whistles in their pockets. Wow, Walter Ellis. Deep, deep. Well, with that bucket right there, everybody uh, in a GCU uniform who has dressed tonight has scored in this game. And Walter Ellis had talked about him being a 40% three-point shooter. He saw that one where uh, Chef Curry shoots from. Go back to that last one. Drew this one up out of the huddle, pun intended. Throws it right where it needs to be. <laughs> Gahan slams it down. Nobody wanted any part of that 250-pound frame. Chew here. He finds himself at the line again. He's got... 20 points, looking for points 21 and 22. Mm -hmm. 80 to 41, Chew at the line. <laughs> Rebound. Turnaround doesn't go. Yama was there. The Gahan finally. <laughs> the Gahan just took it away from Ellis. Like, hey, that's my job. No. Let me trap that ball. Yeah. Baker moves right. Ellis. Knocked out by Dashel. Ellis sporting the uh, knee highs tonight. High soft yeah, 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 that is a different look for yeah. him. You're right. Look well, at there that. He goes again. Man! Come on! He got a flamethrower. He's feeling good tonight. You know, he and uh, McLaughlin were the last two loafs to leave the court in the pregame warm-up. And he hit a shot from half court that ignited the student section. And it seems now he realizes his range might be unlimited this evening. Driving Kobe Knox. Uh, they're just playing some AAU ball now. The three-point shots and dunks and drives to the hole. And they're just having some good old fun. Dashel. Draws on him. Bounce pass into Chu. Chu looking to move on Kobe Knox. Nowhere to go. Back out deep. And Campo hits it. Wow. Ooh, stroke. Yeah, yeah. A nice stroke. That's, that, that was one of the guys that highlighted there along with Felix and Chu. He got 10 points now, five boards. So, like I said, the coaching staff has a lot to take away from this game. And, and they're down by 41. But 
they still got some good moments from their team they need to take away from this one. Uh, does he do it again? Uh, close. Box ball. Back to this one one more time. Casey Shaw over to his buddy Walter Ellis, and he knocks it down. <laughs> he got a little swagger after that one. <laughs> Did the Michael Jordan shrug the elect? Yeah. I do what I do. <laughs> I do what I do. <laughs> Q and Ocampo counting for 30 of the 44 points for the Hawks. Pass with two. Ocampo throws up another three. That's going to miss. Jahan went up for the rebound. Whoa! The way up. Ellis. Not there. Look out. Not sure what got called here. Maybe they got a foul. Oh, they had a foul on the way. We couldn't hear the whistle the noise of the havocs below us, but I think they got Walter Ellis. The reason he missed that is he was fouled on his drive attempt. His dad, Lafonso, was here on Monday night. I hadn't seen him tonight. I don't know if he uh, stuck around for this game here on Wednesday night, but. Proud of the way his son is out there balling tonight. Got six boards to go along with seven points. Some guys just make it look kind of easy. Right, he's fifth, you know, fifth year senior. He's, he's been in a lot of moments like this, and you get a clean look, he's gonna knock it down like another rebound for him. Caught that one, picked off. Shaw up high. Oh, 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 oh. We were waiting for that Lob City tour. Who was going to be the new Collinwood Sean Miller Moore combination? Siamu, the bucket by Sage. Siamu from East San Jose, California. Leaves for Shaw. Not Ellis. Back to Kobe. Tied by Chu. Leaves for Landers in the corner. Bosch on him. Back to Ellis. Ellis swarmed by a sea of blue. Landers open look for Shaw. Good. <laughs> Isaiah Shaw's got a nice stroke. Why? Why? You want to tell me why this guy hadn't been playing? He, he can about flat out fill it up. Kobe Knox picks it up. Oh, just beyond the... Oh, look. Pardon. Excuse me. I think Landers thought that Shaw was going to be cutting to the basket. A little ragtag out here. A little bit. A little bit. Lots of turnovers. Got Coach Drew up out of his chair there. Another three. Uh, too heavy from Shaw. Siamu picked it up. Under three and a half to go. Ropes 10 points away from a C note. Siamu. A little short. You know, Siamu had docked out a couple jump shots. He had himself a free throw line jumper, tried to drive it inside. 90 46, GCU. Tell you I bought our car from Carvana. Yeah, ma. It was so easy. I found the perfect car. Under budget, too. And I get seven days to love it or my money back. I love it! I thought online meant no one to help me. But Susan from Carvana had all the answers. She didn't try to upsell me. Not once. Because they're not salespeople. <laughs> Where do you guess who just checked in on me? Mom. Susan from Carvana. <laughs> we'll drive you happy at Carvana. Can a handyman fix my leaky faucet? How much does it cost to have my HVAC checked? How do I know I have a missing radiator? Why do water pipes break? Home questions don't have to keep you up at night. Get peace of mind with Thumbtack. We'll connect you with local pros for any home project, from a small fix to a big remodel. See transparent prices, read verified reviews, and book with just a tap. Thumbtack, the easy way to care for your home. Udemy. 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 No matter how you say it, it's a top online learning destination with thousands of courses. 
around the world. We're helping people. Achieve. For the Drew family, right now we're taking a look at Hall of Fame coach Homer Drew, Bryce Drew's dad, Bryce, and Bryce Drew's son was sitting on his lap. And Homer also talking to his other grandson, Luke Shaw, next to him. Now, Luke Shaw is a junior at Valley Christian. He plays basketball, of course. He's already being recruited. Homer's wife, uh, Janet, sitting next to him. And then another uh, Shaw in the mix, Isaiah Shaw's older sister, Anna's there. She's getting her master's at GCU. I hope you guys have your number two pencil out. There's a lot of notes in here. And then, of course, mom, Dana, who is not only Casey, Coach Casey Shaw's wife, it is also Coach Bryce Drew's sister. And then missing in action is Caleb Shaw, another son of Casey Shaw. He is a freshman at Northern Colorado. He can't be at the game, guys, because he plays basketball and he is prepping for Monday night's game. Couldn't have scripted better. Who is he playing on Monday? He's playing his uncle. He's playing the Baylor Bears. So the Shaw family in action here tonight watching this game, but then they'll all be making the trip to Texas to watch another grandson play another son on Monday night. Goodness. <laughs> wow. the Drews and the Shaws. I, I couldn't keep track of that. He went on uh, diagrams. <laughs> Beautiful mind or something that worked there. So nice full job circle. handling that. It's the Baylor <laughs> Bears. <laughs> Signorelli in the game. Saw some minutes in the opening half. Wait. Good defense by Kate. Oh, I say Sean's not going to play. Kobe Knox. Kobe Knox is just, huh? he, he is good in transition. Got some good live legs. Runs the floor well. Nine points on 4-4 four, four shooting for that young man. First time the 12 players have scored since last year, January 13th. This is Abilene Christian. Offensive foul on the odds number 50, Robin Kennedy. First person, 18 foul. I thought that was a defensive foul on Colby Knox, and uh, it was actually an offensive foul. Colby Knox doing a good job pressuring that ball. He had to take an elbow, but uh, he's a big, strong young man. He'll be all right. You mentioned that game uh, last year against Abilene Christian. They had a 95 points against Abilene Christian. That was last year's season high. They were three away from it. Sao mà vận động được ông tốt đi chứ để ông làm tìm em là rất bị. One of these uh, of the four D1 transfers that uh, GCU got this past off season. And he saw, shown some flashes of ability to flash to the basket, yeah. play a little defense, uh, and distribute the basketball. I'm kind of trying to figure out what his role ultimately for this Lopes basketball team is going to be. Got 10 points, four boards, four assists. Just does a little bit of everything, Barry. Valuable player to have. Stuart Jenkins. Baker's on him tight. Moves it over to Blackman. Shaw's on him. Finds the seam. Landers comes over to support. Foul. On Landers. Goes back here on their home court on the 18th. Hope to see you here at GC Arena against Grambling State. Tigers coming in here. I like that. We played Grambling State a few times while we've been on the broadcast, haven't we? Yep. They always come in and play hard. Always got a good athletic crew. HBCUs. Have to go out on the road so often before they finally get their first home game. So believe, best believe, the Lopes best believe that they're going to come in here hungry. They've been here a few times now. They're used to these habits. They'll be traveling over to Tempe on the 22nd. Take down Bobby Hurley, Sun Devils. Baker, no look. Landers. Oh, no, no, no. Kness. 
Well, I got to like that pick and roll out of Landers. Yeah, he got that ball and without putting on the floor, went right up to the basket and say, you have to foul me to stop me from scoring this dunk. You like that when they don't put it on the floor, just go right to the bucket. That's it. You work on those drills in practice, and you have to execute them in the games. And that was a good thing to see. You know, they do that all the time where they flip you that ball, and you say you got one good explosion step and then get to the rim. And that's exactly what Landers did there. So putting that practice time on the floor to work for him. Kobe oh. Knox. Kobe Knox is something else. And an offensive rebound the Whoa. free throw line and got a point there and smashed the uh, record that the, the Lopes had last year, 95 points, 97. Just too quick to the basketball, using his athleticism. That's at 11. Shaw, he'll drop. Vanessa gets a clean block there. Bill Jenkins ditches over to Blackman. Ellis called for the foul. I'll call the Lopes number 55, Walter Ellis. Second personal. Good shot of head coach Bryce Drew there. Got to be pleased with the way his team came out to compete tonight. There's yeah, still some things to clean up. We, we mentioned some of the Maybe miscommunications offensively. You got, you know, adding some new players and new positions and obviously a new playbook. But all in all, for the second game of the season, this is one that you go, okay, you, you get a, an opponent in here that you're supposed to take care of and you took care of them. So, a few days off before the, before the next game and clean up some of those little things and practice that you didn't do right and a lot of guys that aren't always going to see the floor are going to feel real good about themselves and continue to grind and work and work on their games and be a feel like now that they're a part of the overall team success and the coach will have confidence on them should somebody get in foul trouble or, or suffer a small injury that he knows he can go to his bench and pull some guys in that can, that can deliver yeah, Lopes 11 of 33 from beyond the arc. I like to see Gabe McLaughlin cheering on his buddy Walter Ellis that he spent so much time on the floor with in the pre, pre seat, uh, in the pregame warm up. So now we got uh, five Lopes with 10 plus points. Ellis drives, knocked down by Kines. Ellis finally was fouled. Not getting that call when it's 99 50 with under a minute to play. Do they hit the C note or not? The Lopes, the Lopes might want him to. Well, for oh, three. Quick. Shaw. For Landers. And they do. 101 50. Knocked out. I would, would be surprised if Coach lets him shoot another one. He's going to let him really play to the, they got the 100 point mark, but I think he's going to tell the team to uh, dribble out the remainder of the clock. And indeed, they will. Baker. Closes out the game. Wolves win it. 101 to 50. Overall, a fantastic effort by the team. Lots of guys got a chance to contribute. Everyone will feel good about themselves when they get a chance to watch this film. Obviously, a few things to tighten up, as we talked about offensively. Uh, but defensively, the team looks sharp. They played smart basketball, and they did what they were supposed to do to come out with this victory. Officially, 57% shooting for GCU. 74% at the free throw line. 11 turnovers in the game. 57 to 10 was the margin in bench points. 50 to 10 points in the paint. 19 to zip. Fast break points in favor of GCU. Let's send it down to Kate Longwood.
All right, thank you guys. Well, Kobe, you had a great job, a great game out there. And for the team overall, how important was it for you guys to come firing out on all cylinders after uh, a sluggish first half in that opening night? Yeah, that's one thing we focused on in practice yesterday. We knew we didn't play as good as we were capable of. So we really wanted to get out and set the tone and show the fans what how we can really play. And for you personally, what was fueling your success tonight? 11 points, a block, and uh, two steals, and of course, a monster dunk or two thrown in there. Uh, that's something Coach Drew always told me, just go in there, bring energy, and just play hard, and the points will come, and it help us get a big victory like this. Now, due to COVID, you were kind of recruited on Zoom. They were kind of trying to show you what the campus was all about, what the atmosphere is all about. They were explaining it to you. Has it lived up to the hype? Oh, it's way above the hype. The amount of fans we have, every single night they come and show love. And that's one of the things they told me when they were recruiting me is that they're going to come sell out every game. And as long as we put on the show for them, they'll keep coming. And tonight we saw a total team performance. You guys get over 100 points, all 12 players chipping in. And on the first game, that opening game on Monday, we also saw the heart of this team. Take us inside the locker room. What is the camaraderie like of this team so early in the season? We're so hard on each other, and that's one of the things. At halftime, we were telling each other of the first game, we were like, we're not playing as good as we can. And that's one of the things we want to do in the second half of last game was come out, show the crowd how we can really play, and really set the tone for this game. First team on defense! <laughs> and it's just, we, we know we're a good team. And we'll get we'll get wins along the way. I, <laughs> oh, no, no, the team celebrating. You mentioned that you guys back. are. He's back. Yeah. Oh, and it's a it's a water shower down here, guys. We'll let you go celebrate with your team, but you did say that you guys.
Ta ta
Linda na na wa Aya chabu na ta Mm-hmm. <laughs> 